in a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode of Grim Dawn on Serenity, my vitality warrior, I think. Well, whatever. I haven't really gotten a good name. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Anybody got a turn in for me? I don't think so. Yep. No, the only quest I have is secure the Rift Grave outside of Mammoth. Um, I am going to grab the bounty here. Then we're going to read what it is. I'm just going to grab it. I'll keep your stash safe. Ancient Wendigos. Okay, I have an idea where that probably is. I'm going to drop the blues. Marks need to get moved. Is it temporary? Perfect. It's safe with me. Promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust Come you. See what's left of my wares. Most of these, yeah, I already looked through them. Nothing special. Iron well spent. Go ahead. And Two more points in physique. This is a straight physique character right now. It might change in the future, but for right now, it's just straight physique. Um, my damage feels good. I think I'm gonna start working on getting Blood of Dree completely up. And then we're gonna go back to the Lone Watch. And I need to clear this area. That skill's not ready. Oh, oh, get a seal. Now these guys are, are literally pushovers. Unless they have a, a big boss someplace. This is just gonna be a romp. We are gonna route them. That skill's not ready. They're level 61. Oh, same level as me, okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be that easy, but I'll hear some big boys. That skill's not good. Everybody marked up. They weren't as easy, but still. There we go. I mean, just look at that. The twin fangs just tore them a new one. And the cool thing about Bloody Pox is the body stays there. And if a new, if new mobs that weren't already infected come into the area, they'll run over the dead bodies, the corpses that are there. Bloody Pox will spread to them. And then my uh, twin fangs have more targets. The larger the concentration of, of enemies, the more I can spread my my poison and pestilence. It's awesome. And of course, uh, my fangs are just going off constantly. Got to keep Blood of Drig up. It increases. It's not just a, a constant heal. It also gives me uh, increased damage. So anytime I don't have it up, I, it's just a waste of of damage that I could be doing to the enemy. I had a feeling that was a wraparound, but wanted to check. Around. All right. Into an open field area. Yay, ethereal. I hate ethereal. Oh, get the guy. Wow, he went down quick. I was going after what looked like a caster. And yeah, he went down quick.
What are you? An ethereal imp. Okay, he was ugly. He was fugly. And yes, this is all new area in the expansion. You're damn right I'm, I'm gonna uncover the whole map. Never know what I'm gonna find out here. Come on. I'm trying to go over there, but I can't. Oh, there's a stump. Anything? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I've learned to look in those little nooks and corners and stuff that they have. They like hiding stuff in there now. Now, ethereal is still a, a hindrance. Anything ethereal that I've that I'm that still does a lot of damage. So any area where I'm you know running over the ethereal ground or or stuff like that 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 really causes a problem. So I've got to be careful of that because it it saps my energy, and I'm never gonna drain enough to offset it. Is there something over there? No. Okay, cool. At least I know, right? Sometimes I don't have to mark, but I just like getting stuff marked up because you never know if, if more stuff's gonna spawn in. And anything that spawns on top of a body that was already there instantly gets hit by bloody pox and then of course my uh, fangs start firing off instantly. Go ahead, oh, boss. Hero mob, and I'm taking a pounding. I'm standing in poo, I'm being hit from all different directions. But that's one of those, it's that, see that, that ethereal sweeping thing in there? That's what's nasty and it stays around. The mob's already dead and it's still going around in it. And it, I've actually killed a mob. I'm like, okay, cool, took that one out. I didn't notice that thing coming around and it actually killed me. I was like, damn it, but I already beat the mob. Man, I get so much uh, collar and tempest and boy, it, ugh. It's like the game's telling me, make a lightning character. Make a lightning character. Something over there. No. Uh, just two guys. I'm not going to waste. Ah, there's a few more. Alright, another rift. I think I'm gonna hold off going in there until I've cleared off the map at least. That might be the way through, but just gonna hold off. For a Man, see, it might not be the way through. All right, I'm gonna clear the. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and come back through and clear this lower area first. So yeah, I added an extra active skill by doing Bloody Pox, but Bloody Pox is just too useful for spreading and uh, procking one of my other abilities. Because I was using my charge, the Blitz, but I could only do it so often and it really wasn't, it wasn't causing the fangs to go off enough. Even when I had it on Cadence, it still wasn't causing because it was only uh, proccing when I was actually hitting something. Now, even if I'm not hitting something, I'm running around trying to find something to hit, the fangs can still proc off at stuff that's already been bloody popped. So it's a good combination. That's 
kill's not ready. Oh, don't fight them. Fight me. I want the experience and the drops, please. Thank you. Wow, this area is huge. We love it. More drops, more monsters to fight, more loot. Anything to get us more loot, right? I'm just going to mark them and run past, because they will die. I don't have to actually stay around. I mean, I could actually play this character that way. Go ahead, mark them up. And except for the, re the really big ones, I could just run past most of them. And you can see, now I use a lot of mana when I do that. And I'll be sucking mana pots down left and right, trying to maintain that. But I could run that character that, uh, that way as a vitality caster. So you could say this is kind of a hybrid build. I'm seeing an area I didn't clear over here. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm close enough to it that it's a quick run back. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna run past you. Just clear, okay, nothing there. And see, that's my, it's like I said, that aether stuff on the ground is my bane because there's nothing to attack. I'm just taking damage from the ground. So I can't mitigate it and I can't life steal from the ground. Twin Fangs up to rank 18. Awesome. I am going to come around this way. I'm gonna get out of the, the nastiness, get back on it. It goes down and it comes back. I'm gonna get back out of the nastiness again. All right. That's what I have to do. It's just the only way to fight that stuff. Now what I need to do is I need to set up uh, a set of weapons that, that has a purified salt on it because that gives you really good uh, aether resistance but I haven't done that yet because I'm dual wheeling I can put aether uh, I mean uh, purified salt in both my weapons and that would give me about I want to say 25 I think it's 25 per, so about 50. 50 Aether Resist. Might be a little much, but it's somewhere around there. Guy. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm glad I came back over. There was a big uh, hero mob, but or a boss mob, but he wasn't. It was just a straggler. Somebody that I missed when I first swept that way. Check this corner out, make sure. And I, I know you guys are like, what are you doing? I can't leave the map uncovered. It's a whole new area. I've never been here. There's too much. There's too much to see and too much to kill. I want to test my build too. I could have already run through this area and got to the next area, but. I need to make sure that my build is viable. I, you know, each step of the way. Come here. Uh, mitigate some of that. That skill's not ready. Right. 
That's right. Everybody's marked Acid Spray. Level 10. Now, Acid Spray is on Cadence. So it affects whatever mob I'm actually attacking, which is perfect for Acid Spray. And I'm not trying to, you know, I, I'm not trying to utilize the poison and acid damage. I'm more doing that for the resistance because it, it lowers their resistance. I'll show what I'm talking about. If you've never looked at it, I mean, yeah, it's offensive ability, acid and poison, health, poison, acid and poison again. But here, yes, acid and poison, which is nice to have that additional damage. 19 reduced targets resistance for five, for five seconds. And that's only halfway leveled up. It gets up in the 20s when it's fully maxed out. And if I'm res and if I'm removing the resistances, that allows my vitality damage to do more damage to the mobs because I've removed their uh, resistance. And it's from an attack I'm already doing, so it's perfect. Now, I wish there was a, a, a way you could actually see it. You know, there's, that's one of the uh, skills that either I don't recognize when it when it pops off, when it, when it actually applies to an enemy, or it needs to show more of a, uh, of a mark so we can tell that it actually popped up, you know, that it was activated. That's the one request for that skill. And I think that green glow that's around me right there, I think that is that working, but I don't know. That's oh, so yes. Fun. Mark everything. Mark everything! Mark everything and go to town. That's what I want. I want the hordes of mobs to come charging at me. Okay, so now I'm not sure. Am I getting off the beaten path that way? Break that up. See, that's area. I'm just going to finish clearing that up. Okay, so that was a different area. Let's finish this area up again. And now that I've run through there, unless there is some quest person in there, the next time that I, I come through this area, like let's say I'm doing a different character, I, I already know, well, okay, well, there's a lot of stuff to kill here, but there's no reason to clear the map. There's nothing hidden in here. There's no, you know, I did find one treasure trove, and I guess that could be hidden someplace else in, in the map, but I just got lucky and found it early. Okay, this seems like it's going to be a tougher fight. I don't know what that thing is doing to me. It's some kind of, uh, almost like an aether ray. That skill's not ready. All right, you down now? you're ready to write the next chapter of my story. Unfortunately, this one's still a work in progress. Mm, I'm not gonna All right. So I need to come back to her. All right, so she was a there was a quest person up here. A sister's love. All right. <laughs> Darn, I should just clear that area. <laughs> you know, sometimes I shouldn't stop and go back and go, ooh, I want to uncover that area. That area is still foggy. Sometimes I just need to finish it up. With that in mind, we're going to start from this side over here and finish this area up. Now, I'm not going to bother fighting each one of those individual aether meteor things. I'll take care of the ones that are actually trouble for me. 
because yeah, like I said, Aether is bad. Aether is bad. Oh my god, what are you? A guardian? Wow, that thing was ugly. Can't do that yet. He went down easy, but he was ugly. Your own little charge. Good that for you. Oh, okay. S Sentinel and that wave. Not sure what that wave did, but. I heard something, somebody talking about some kind of sentinel that causes all the mobs to come running and charging at you. Ooh, it's like a big township. Probably won't take you too long to get through. Note to the devs, maybe I never noticed it before, but I can, uh, the footsteps on the, the wood sound perfect. If you listen quietly for a second. Now I know my background music probably covers up, but trust me, it actually sounds like she's walking on wood. Holy, yes. Look at all the mobs. With that many mobs around, I can mark everything. I, I, I can't die. Oh, well, secretly. One of those Aether chase rings going around. Look, I'm glad I got out of that poo poo. Ouch! It's like that hit me twice, and it does a huge amount of damage per hit. Uh, chest up here. Cellar door, but I'll go in there in a minute. Man, I hate to have to end the episode halfway through an area, but I might be doing that today. This map is big and taking me a while to clear it. And I'm not cheating you guys. When I tell you I've never been here before, it's my first time through it. It honestly is my first time through it. And if it's not, I'll tell you guys. Oh yeah, well I tried to record this already. You know, I screwed up the recording, and so this is actually my second time through this area. You know, I'll tell you guys the truth. All oh, that aether damage. Aether steel bolts? I don't think I've even seen those before. Or I, that I even have the recipe. i gonna run back real quick and check. I'm doing it at Fort Icon real quick. It's it's just a ever so slightly closer. I think. Got any more scrap metal? Um well, I got a ton of scrap metal. Question is can I make what they want? And I'm certain it's probably one of the the upper tier ones and I can't which is fine I mean I if I can't uh, clear it I can't clear it aether 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 steel bolts oh okay I can make them and I can make those easy
<laughs> don't be killed out there. Uh, that's like, don't laugh at me. I'll drink your blood. Your blood. <laughs> I'm definitely getting flagged this time. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, might as well do it. It was actually cheap. I thought it was going to be an expensive one. Empower Doom Forge. Um, that's really nice. I mean, I love that. It's an awesome item. I'm already wearing it. <laughs> but, you know, I got the devotion point, so. No complaints. That's usually my luck. I get something nice, and it's, and it's you know, it's something nice that I already have. Not bad when I'm talking about weapons, because I am a... a I'm using two weapons at a, at a time. Having multiple of the same really good weapon item is actually a nice thing for this character. Another big ugly. I'm gonna go right in on this thing. Try to take it out first. I don't even want to see what it does. I'm gonna pop both my my oh crap buttons with this many enemies around. And Aether on the ground. And stupid Aether balls. Holy hell, this place is huge! It's another long episode, guys. I'm gonna get out of that. Look at that. All that. Like three Aether rings going around at the same time. Is there a way across here or not? No, it's not. Okay. And there's nothing hidden in here. I really wanna go check that. You know, the cellar is what I'll start on next episode, I guess. The bad part is I'm not finding a portal because I really wanted to find that next portal to be able to come back. I'll have to fight my way all the way back over here. You know, it's already a long episode. Let's just keep going and see where it leads. Hope you guys don't mind hanging around a little bit, see where this goes. Goes into a barn with a big chest on top. Let's go get that real quick. Might be something nice in it, and nope. Oh well. Oh, Aether Beast. Abomination. Die already, jeez. Can't go through there, huh? Okay. Back over this way. I'm I get the feeling, you know, knowing how this game normally paces itself, that I'm getting very close to an end area. But I'm not sure. I'll take the greens. Uh, an Aether... Is that an Aether Blacksmith? Yes, it's an Aether Blacksmith. I'm trying to see... Ah, okay, because... He'll make the stuff. Okay. Ethereal. Okay, so he's the ethereal blacksmith. Hmm. Wonder if he does any cool stuff to gear. I might have to consider that. Oh, that was him making the I thought it was all the when I clicked on him, I thought it was all this stuff that was making those noises. No, it was him making those growling noises. <laughs> Cause every time he made the noise, I was like, oh, something else is coming behind me. Something else is coming behind me. Now it's him the whole time. Oh. 
there's a portal on my map. Awesome. That's exactly the way you want to end a run, is at a portal. So I'm guessing that the, oh, there. Oh, nice. I think that was an epic or a legendary ring. Pretty sure, yes it was. Vitality, bleed, vitality, nice. Casting, attack speed, laceration, hunger and souls at blood pull, chance on attack. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna lose some of uh, my plus one to all my skills, but that ring is gonna be nice. I need to get it uh, fitted out and augmented first though. Now if I can just find a, a little brother or a little sister to go along with it. That'd be awesome. Ooh, big boy. Let's pop everything. Oh, it went down easy. Gotta be careful, there's an aether ring going around me. I think I can stand in the middle without taking damage. Okay, it's just when it hits you that you take the damage. Yeah, okay, deal. I thought if it got too close to you, you were taking damage. All right, I saw the portal on my map. Let's head toward the portal. Now I'm glad that I kept going because that ring might not have dropped. Ah, okay, it's just one of those that I have to that skill's not ready. clear, which is rather difficult because there's that mob up there, which is, all right, spawned in. I, I'm trying to attack the big guy that's actually upstairs. That's not a target right now. Pop everything because this is a ton of stuff and a ton of aether. Watch my health. Pop a health pot. That not Get out of the aether. Everything's dead, I think. Yes, it is. Just gonna wait a second for. Let's pick everything up. Come on, come on. There we go. Well, here we are, Malma, the center of industry in the north. Or it was before it all went down the slip hole. Would have been far <laughs> too much luck to have the bridge down and waiting for us. Not to worry. There's an old sewer outlet not far from here, just down to the west by the river. It was a popular route for smugglers bringing contraband in and out of the Candle District. Now it will serve as our way in. No royal carpet for us. With any luck, we'll run into some of these survivors you spoke of. Take the lead. Cool. Okay, guys and gals, that's my time for today. I've been Critical. This has been Grim Dawn. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>